Now to our election 2020 coverage. We're taking a closer look at ballot issue 2A in Colorado Springs. It asks voters if the city can keep nearly $2 million they collected in 2019. That was oh, that was over the limit set by the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Tabor, our Colette Bordelon breaking down both sides of this issue tonight. Before we get going, it's important to understand what Tabor does. Among other things, it sets a cap on the amount of taxes the city can keep and spend. And that limit grows at a set rate year after year. As the first ballots get mailed out on Friday. People should vote no and say enough is enough. What to do with taxpayer dollars is up for debate. A yes vote means uh, allowing the city to recover from the COVID crisis quicker. Here's what your ballot will look like and exactly what 2A would do. Without raising taxes, it would let the city of Colorado Springs keep nearly $2 million that came in over the Tabor limit set for 2019 to be used for public safety, while also keeping the full amount of city revenue from all sources in 2020, and finally base the 2021 Tabor cap at the 2019 level, given the economic hit the city has taken this year. So what we'd like to do is grow from that 2019 value going forward so that as the economy recovers, we'll be able to recover the city services at that same rate. Sheree McDaniel, the chief financial officer for the city, says she's not advocating for or against 2A. The 2020 revenue is anticipated to be over $20 million less than the 2019 revenue. But the voters can really help us out with 2A by at least allowing us to move from that 2019 base and not have to ratchet down and take three or four years to get back to 2019. Mayor John Southers is vocal in his support, saying the almost 2 million from 2019 would either stay with the city and go to police or fire or be refunded. The city would have to refund $7 per household. They don't want the citizens to keep any of their own money. Douglas Bruce is the author of Tabor and says if passed, 2A violates the state constitution. They ought to understand that they work for us. We don't work for them. Bruce also wrote a statement in the voters guide for this year saying Tabor's limits need to be respected. They need to live on a budget, not a blank check. Remember, October 26th, that's a Monday, is the last day you can register to vote and still receive a mail-in ballot. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordelon, News 5.